Hello, and welcome to another uh, author advice segment. And today we're going to be talking about what is story origin. And uh, what I'm going to be doing today is basically um, taking you through story origin and showing you what it has to offer. And we'll be doing a live demo as I upload uh, my new poetry book uh, to the to the site for our copies or it'll be in the direct download section so we'll be doing that today as a live demo so that will be fun and uh, it'll give you an idea of how to upload a book to story origin because it's it's not exactly the same process for things like review copies or or reader magnets but it, it's very similar so you'll, you'll get the the gist of it when we do the live demo so now I'm going to do the screen share here and give you a look at story origin. So there we go. Put it up there. So that is the the landing page for the website. Uh, we're just going to scroll down here a little bit and show you some of the stuff it offers. Uh, Review copies, beta copies, reader magnets, audio promo codes, universal retail links, direct downloads, which is what we will be doing today. And it also offers newsletter swaps, group promos, a built-in calendar, campaign note keeping, and I know a lot of you like word count tracking, and it also offers that. Now, these next sections here just basically tells you what each thing does, got some stats, stuff like that. So you can go over that on your own leisure because we'll be going through those one by one today inside uh, inside the website. So, And these are the email service provider integrations they have currently set up. Um, there's quite a few of them, MailChimp, Mail MailerLite, SendFox, ConvertKit. Um, they don't have everyone set up. They are going to be um, adding more as the months years go on i i gather so so uh if yours isn't uh if yours isn't integrated yet you can still actually add it but you will have to manually update things so that's just the thing and uh now we're going to go into my author dashboard here on story origin and there we are and just before we get into things i'm going to mention that the free account does allow you to upload books for say a reader arc or something like that. It does not allow for reader magnets. It does not allow for newsletter swaps or group promos. Um, but the paid account is only a hundred dollars a year and or $10 a month. So it's not too expensive if you want to want to want all the bells and whistles. Okay. So I'm going to now go in and I'm going to show you some of the stuff. So this is the home page. And as you can see, I have no current goal trackers because I don't track my goals. And my no plan, plan campaigns yet. So we may actually go in and plan out next month's campaigns. I'll show you that too. So, and first of all, we're gonna check out the stats. These are my stats. Now these are for the reader magnets. So you can see um, the blue one there is for Chronicles of the Undead. The yellow one is for Weeping Lady, which I have out for, uh, I think, for a reader magnet this this month. The green one is for Eternal Myths, and the, I do have another one, but it's not out on group promos or swaps, so there's no stats for it this month. Okay, so, and this is the Universal Book Link stats. And you can see that's the last 30 days of people clicking on my Universal Book Link. I got it i've had it on some sale promos newsletter swaps things like that it's not doing too badly actually <laughs> and so this is the direct download stats which probably shouldn't show much or of anything if it actually loads here yeah see it doesn't show anything because i haven't been offering the direct my direct downloads um lately so there's nothing to show and this is the audiobook links. Probably nothing there either because the audiobook isn't in any promos at the moment. So 
but that's that's what you can get stats for. You can get stats for your audiobook, your universe book link, your reader magnets, or your direct downloads. So now we will go into the campaign planner and I will show you how to plan an upcoming campaign. So, okay, so we click the little blue button. And first thing you do is which posted mailing list will you be sending to? And that, of course, is to my Are You Afraid of the Dark newsletter. And then you put the send date, which is May. And I send the first uh, Saturday of, yeah, first Saturday for this particular one um, of May. It is not reoccurring. It is reoccurring, but they don't have it. The way I have it set up, they don't have uh, they don't have uh, things to click. See, it's every week, every month. Um, you can do a custom thing, but I don't bother with that. So I just do it manually every month. It's easier for me, but you can set it up the way you want. So, and now you come to um, which books do you want to swap for? So let's say I want to swap for Visions and Nightmares, Universal Book Link, my um, Chronicles of Undead Reader Magnet, um, and we'll put on the put my Sea Bound Reader Magnet for next month too. You can add as many how many books you have set up. You can put as many reader magnets out as you want. I generally do about three or four. Give people a a choice because. Um, some swaps I do for horror, some swaps I do for, for fantasy. So, And then you can add your tags. I have dark, fantasy, and horror. And you can also include additional info for swap applicants if you, if you want, if you have something to, to add to that. And then you just click Create. And then you can, and then you can go straight on to... to um, to go and invite authors to cross promote if you want. I generally don't do that. I just, just, I just, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll show you what I do as we go on. So that's the, that's how to plan a campaign. So now we come to the calendar. And you can see this is, this is uh, the list of all my camp, my promos that are currently going. This is my uh, group promo, the horror of it all, which is going all month. And um, I've got, that one was my, my newsletter that went out on Saturday, uh, the 2nd of April. And um, so, yeah, that basically tells you what you got planned and what you got going on. And I just have the campaign, and you can do the swaps here too. Click the little swaps. I didn't have that clicked, but now I do. So there you, you should see when my swaps are going out with the other newsletters. So it's a quick and easy way to see things. And now you come to your goal trackers. I do not have goal trackers. I do not use goal trackers, but I'll take you in for a quick look here. And so you can put a title, your author profile, target, how many words you want, start date, end date, descriptions, blah, 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 blah. And it helps you track your goals. Okay, so now we go down to promotions over here. And we click group promos created. Now I have not created a group promo, but if you wanted to create a group promo, you just click this and you put the title of your promo, put your author profile. So it clicks how many days the promo will run, your start date and end date, the type of promo, which basically means you can have a giveaway, a sale, promo for Kindle Unlimited, promo for reviews, promo for audiobook reviews, a promo for audiobook sales. Anyway, and then here you will you you just click on how many books they can submit one two three or four or five, and as as the organizer you don't have that limit. Then you you write a description of your promo for the authors. This is for the authors, mind you. It, it doesn't show up on the promo itself. That that is something the story origin has to work on putting better promo better descriptions on their their promos. But yeah. Okay, and then you, you click here if the required applicants are integrate their mailing list, which is generally yes. I mean, you don't have to do it, but it's generally yes. You do 
want them to add this promo to their mailing list. And then you here you um, just uh, include uh, additional inflow. Now this is a required thing. So you do have to put something in here. I mean, if you don't need them to give you more information, you can just say, um, you know, just click thanks or click happy to be part of it, something like that, you know, just just write like um, some innocuous little thing that they, they can reply to. And here you can put in your tags. If it's an amateur sleuth, if it's um, chick lit, if it's climate change, whatever, there's a lot of tags. You can add, add, add several of them. And if you happen to have it click to say a Facebook group or some other kind of a group, you can put a discussion link here. And, and that link you see there, up there, that was for my October Frights because it was linked to my October Frights group. I think. Yeah, it should have been. Anyway, and so that's basically how you create a promo. And uh, this one is for group promos joined. And this will basically list all the group promos you have joined. And you can check them and keep an eye on them and whatnot. And the same with the the newsletter swaps swaps now i don't have anything upcoming because i just created my may newsletter as you saw but here is the past ones if it loads come on come on there we go so that's past things my campaign their campaign how many clicks so you can you get a lot of information you keep track of things so since I just created my newsletter and I have no swaps. We will show you how to do a swap. Now, the first thing you need to do here is to click on the campaigns mailing list or swap opportunity. Generally, you just use campaigns, tags. Let's go with horror. Since it's for my mailing list, we'll go down to horror. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Keep going. And there we go down to horror. And you, we want the campaign after May 7th, so we'll click May 7th. And if you happen to know the author's pen name, you can put that in. Generally, I don't use it. Same with the distribution. You can do wide, Amazon only, or mixed. We'll go with wide for this, just for demonstration purposes. And you can see my campaign is listed there. And you can see that this one here, it's got vampires, horror, thriller, supernatural, demons. It actually looks like a pretty good one. So we'll click for this one. You just click on this little thing and it will take you out to a new tab, which while I will, I will share the new tab in just a second here. Okay, there we go. Now we're sharing the new tab and it's showing you the book. Anyway, and what it is, the newsletter is subscribers is open rate. Doesn't have a very good click rate, to be honest. Um, nice open rate though, but so we're just going to not not take that one i know i've just yeah okay sorry sorry author didn't mean to to disparage you but yeah i i prefer a bigger click rate than that but anyway so that shows you but you do have to make these decisions when you're making newsletter swaps so um and you can see the click rate here on as well on the which i should have looked at before i clicked on it apparently so let's see if there's anything else. Um, you can see the tags here. Not too much today. So we'll pop over to fantasy instead of horror and see what we got there. Because horror sometimes a hit and miss over on Story Origin, to be honest. 
whoops, that's the wrong one. Oh, put the horror tag on again. No, we want fantasy, don't we? Fantasy. All right. Now, fantasy, you have to kind of wade through a bit. Anyway, we'll take the wide off to give it a... Because you're going to get a lot of romance fantasy in the fantasy. So you have to weed through this. Now, let's see. Saturday, Lauren's weekly newsletter. She's got a nice click rate, nice open rate. Let's click on over to that and we will. Okay, so I wasn't sharing the screen for that. Sorry. <laughs> but basically, I did the same thing with the fantasy uh, that I did with the horror. Anyway, I'll show it to you here for a second. And you can see the fantasy tag is up there. So I basically did the same thing. So we will share the other screen so you can see this. Okay, so this is Lauren's uh, newsletter. And you can see her books are here, right here. And that gives you the information here. So um, one of her books looks pretty good. Now I'm going to click over to Amazon. You're not going to see this on the screen, but I'm clicking over to, oh, sorry, I'm clicking over to her um, page and then through to Amazon. To see the book. Uh, it looks pretty good. So. And she has a. a reader magnet. So we're going to go with the reader magnet. Swap here. So, and you can see this, this um, green button on the bottom. So you click exchange book mention. And then you just fill in the little drop boxes, the sender's book. So we want the reader magnet. Just give me a minute here till I remember which reader magnet. Okay, there we go. It's where the smoke, where there's smoke reader magnet we want. And you click on what, and we're going to put the C bound reader magnet. And then you click on the newsletter. And this is the, this is where you put the reader magnet. This is where you put the newsletter. And then the last box is your campaign date, which is May 7th. And then you just click the little green button down here and send a swap request. And now you uh, have sent the swap request and you just wait. Now we were going to go back to the author dashboard and back to the Newsletter swaps, no, it's not the new campaign planner. And you can see right here, right here is the number one. And that means you've got one pending swap, which I have. I've got one pending swap now. Okay, so that's that. So we've done the group promos, done all the subscribes, and now we're going to the landing pages. So now we're on reader magnets. And you can see two little red X's right here. And that just means that I have not required these two reader magnets um, for people to join my newsletter to get them. So people can download them. There's no strings attached to those two. No, you don't have to do that. You can put all your reader magnets for newsletter swaps. I just like to have a couple where people can download them and not have to worry about joining a newsletter. 
and uh, and then the other two are just uh, just uh, for the for the reader magnets. Now I'm going to show you. the reader magnet itself here. And this is the Chronicles of the Undead that I use as my main reader magnet. And you up here you have your little kind of tagline -y thing. And then that's the button where they click to get the story. And this the next line shows you it's available in Mobi and EPUB. Then you've got the description. And you've got the the uh, the uh, cover over here, and that's what the reader magnet page looks like. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the main page. We're back to the reader magnet page, and um, you just click this to create a reader magnet page. I'll give you a quick idea what it looks like, and basically this. This is where you put your book title in and your author profile. And then next, the next one's the headline and subheader, which is, you know, if you want, or your subtitle or whatever. And then you get your tags and your description. Then you upload down here. Down here is where the good stuff happens. That's where you upload your book cover, your EPUB, your Mobi, and you can upload a PDF. I never upload PDFs. PDFs are bad, bad, bad. Don't give away PDFs as a, as a reader magnet. Just don't do it. They're the easiest thing in the world to pirate, so don't make it easier for the pirates. That is my opinion. You can do what you want. But anyway, <laughs> and then the next box here, um, is this a preview or a sample? So you can upload reader magnets that are previews to your novel, say like three or four chapters to your novel, and use that as a, a reader magnet if you want. I generally don't do that. I usually use short stories that are connected to books or novels as, as reader magnets. But, you know, you can do whatever works for you. And then the next box, this one that I'm, is... You can put in your your mail, your uh, mailing list into integration, whether you want one or you don't want one. And then um, you can use a Facebook tracking pixel if you have one. I don't, don't want one. So, and then you just click create and you get a new reader magnet. Same with the, the universal book links. Now we're gonna be doing this one, I think as a demo because I want to add my new poetry book. So I will walk you through this as we go. So first thing we do is we put the title. So I'm just going to get my info here and copy and paste it in. All right, so there's the title, Roses and Ashes, with the subtitle in it. And then I click on my author profile. And now, okay, so, yeah, this is, I forgot this. Okay, so just, you're going to have to bear with me for a few minutes here, because I do not have the proper size. Now, with Story Origin, when you're loading the file, you cannot load just your regular old file that you put on Amazon or another retailer. And so you have to size it down. You need a cover that is 400 by 600. So just give me a minute while I resize my cover because I forgot to do it before this video. And so here we go. So just bear with me while I resize my cover and save it. And you're looking nicely at the 
smoke screen and me babbling, so bear with me. Okay, cover is saved. Now we get to upload it. All right. All right, so now we're uploading the image. Uh, here we go. There's, there's the properly sized cover. And you can see it here. And you can now you can crop the cover if you want, but it looks okay. I mean, Story Origin generally cuts it off a little bit. Um, so, but yeah, so you'll have to be careful about where you put your your um, author name and stuff when you're cropping and adjusting it here. You'll you'll see when. And then now we're putting in the tags. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. We probably won't be having a lot of tags for this one because it's a poetry book. There we go. Poetry. That's, I think that's pretty much what I'm going to use for now. I might add them in later when I think of some. Okay, now we come down to our links, putting in the links. And you can see right here. This is a very important thing if you're doing wide because you can use a books to read link here and it will automatically fill in the links for you. And that's what we're going to do now. Just going to copy my link here. And we're going to click the little autofill books to read link and it's going to pop up this box and we're going to paste in our link. And then we're going to click the little green button that says get links. And now all of our links are filled in. Here's Amazon, Apple. It did not fill in the Barnes and Noble one. That's weird. Huh. Oh, that Barnes and Noble one's been giving me, giving me problems all day. So um, we're going to go and go get the Barnes and Noble link. Oh, I see. Barnes and Noble has not. Um... Okay, so Barnes and Noble has not popped up on the uh, books to read yet for some reason. I'll have to go fix that after this. <laughs> so we'll go. <coughs> Sorry. We will go straight to Barnes and Noble and get the link directly then. And again, you will have to bear with me. So this is fun. There we go. Barnes and Noble link copied and we will put that one in. And let's see if that works. Oops. We forgot to click the affiliate tags. No, we don't have affiliate tags. Okay. And my universal book link is now live and you can now you now have a Story Origin Universal book link, and I'm not copying it to the clipboard. So we're going to go back to the author dashboard. And we're going to go to our Universal book links again. And you can now see that the Rose and Ashes book is now in Universal book links. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to move out. And in, so I can show you... The, whoops, that's not what I want. That's, no, that one there. So we can show you what it looks like. All right, so you can see there's the cover and here's all the links that people can click on. And this is um, what you'd be using um, for, for swaps and, and group promos for sales. And that's what, what readers will see when they come to that page. Okay, so stop sharing that and get back to the regular story origin page. Close out those other tabs. Okay, there. So and now we go to the review copies and you can see the review copies here. I've got these copies that are available for review. This one is no longer available for review for reasons I'm not getting into in this video. And I'll just run you through the review copy, but it's basically the same thing. And you can, 
choose uh, how to provide the review copy to the, the readers, either download through Story Origin or Amazon prepaid book link. In the first box, and then you fill out the info, which is title, author profile, upload your book cover again, more tags, another headline, subheader, same thing. Same thing as when you were you were uploading the the universal, uh, not the universal, but the reader magnet. Same with the book blurb. Anyway, and the tracking pixel and all that. Now here you come to the sample preview. Now you can you used to have to do this mandatory, but you can now choose not to upload a sample for people to to sample before they ask for a review. And then you upload the books here. And then you say, has this book already been published? And uh, you, whether you not want this publicly listed or not, whether it's like for private review group only, or if you want anyone on Story Origin to pick it up and review it. So that's the review copies. And now we come to the beta copies. And you can see here, I have one in beta copy already, which is the Ghostly Tower. And we'll click on to that here. And share the screen for that, that one so I can show you what it looks like. Now, this is my short story, The Ghostly Tower. It's up in beta. And it basically has request beta copy. And it has the, the description. And when you click into the request beta copy, you'll get a lot of um, questions you have to answer and agree to. And then you just click and you can get the beta, access to the beta copy. Go back to the author dashboard here. And back to the beta copies. And we'll go into... couple of these things so you can see what they look like. This is the beta readers. And this is where you can see um, where the readers are and where they what they've read and stuff. And that what they have access. And this is their contents and comments. And you can click these little things over here for to check out their their feedback. Click over here, and this is, you can view their responses, and I'm not going to go down further because those responses are private, but it basically shows you everything that they've said about, about the story. So that's beta copy. So now we're going into direct downloads, and we're going to do another live demo here. Now, none of them, as you can see from the little red X's, None of my direct downloads are integrated into my mail list because I generally use direct downloads either for giveaways or for arc reading. And so I don't bother with an email integration for these because A, usually my arc readers come from my newsletter. <laughs> and uh, B, with the giveaways, I don't think they should be required to join my newsletter to get something I'm giving as a contest prize. So I don't usually do that. And now we will create a direct download page for Roses and Ashes. And again, we're going to go and we're going to And there we go. That's the title, author profile. And we're uploading the image, which is that one. And again, same crop image, same thing. And now we're going to upload the ebook, EPUB. And there it is. And upload the Mobi file. And there it is. And again, don't do the PDF. And this is require readers to verify 
mailing list subscription. You don't require mailing list. Do not require mail list subscription verification. And that's it. And now we're going to click create. And that should be it. Yep. And we're going to go back to our author dashboard. Back to the direct downloads. And there you go. Roses and Ashes is in the direct downloads. Now we will again click you to the next screen. And show you the poem, the book, what it looks like. All right. So this is the direct download. And this is much, it's very similar to the reader magnet in a lot of respects. Um, so you get download instructions if you need help downloading and e, um, Mobi, EPUB, and that you just click what you want. So you can get a link or you can download it directly. Okay, so we're going back to the author dashboard. And now we're going to go into audio review codes. Now, as you can see here, this one's all grayed out. This one is not. This one here is grayed out because this is my old Audible code um, when I was uh, exclusive to to Audible. I am no longer exclusive to Audible with my audiobook. I've gone wide. So I had to create a new one to, um, to, uh, uh, to uh, distribute the find-away codes. Anyway, um, the old one's still there because um, a couple of uh, audible codes were still floating out there when I when I switched over, so I didn't uh, bother to, to to delete it at that time. So, and we're just going to go in here and edit, and I will show you what it looks like. So there you you have to upload an image, and um, I'm not sure what the specs are for that, but it'll tell you like it did in, in the uh, reader magnets and stuff. And there's the, um, the, the link that you give to um, the review promos, audio promos, uh, or send out your newsletter or whatever so people can go to the, the uh, page and request a review. And then you, down here, down here, you click in what company you're with. Find Away Voices is what I'm with, so that's what that's there. And there's then you fill in the book info like you have for all the other ones. Same book info, and you put your retailer links. This will be for your audiobook. You've got Amazon, Apple, Google Play, Barnes and Noble, Kobo, blah blah blah. No, this is not for your. Yeah, this is for your audiobook. Okay. Okay, and you also have review platform links. I've got Goodreads and BookBub here listed. And you can, your review sites that you want marked as priorities, which is Amazon, Apple, Google Play, Kobo, Goodreads, BookBub for me. Anyway, and um, so that's basically what, what you would be filling out when you fill out for the audiobook. And so anyway, and now we're going down to the universal audio links. And we'll just take a look at this page. And it's basically the same thing, only instead of uh, review codes, this is this is where you buy the audiobook. It's the same, basically the same thing as the universal book link, only it's an audiobook. Now we're going to go in. This is the account part down here. Down here, this is your account part. And this is where you put your posted mailing list in. And you just um, fill in the information, same as the rest of it. It's Mailing list name, author profile, how you distribute, whether you're wider, exclusive to Kindle Unlimited, um, your description, and 
your integrated stats. I mean, your, your, where your mailing list is coming from and stuff. Anyway, and up here on this little green button here, this little green button here, you can click and it will automatically update your stats, which we are doing now. And your stats are, are over here and it basically tells you your list size, open rate, and click rate. Now we are not going to go into subscribers because the subscriber list is private. I'm not putting that out publicly. Integrations just tells you which provider you're with, and that's MailChimp. Oops, I clicked direct downloads. And this basically says my author profile. And I'm not going into that. Fill it out. Anyway, so that's basically what Story Origin is and what it does. I hope you liked our little demonstration. And uh, if you're on the reader side, I'll just give you a quick peek at that because I do have one book here, which I um, got for free for being for being a nice interviewer. And and uh, basically it. it shows you what books you're to review and stuff like that now interestingly and it also apparently has something if you're a beta reader and it has your reviewer profile where you put your stuff on anyway but okay so that's basically it now the interesting thing about the reviews which i did not touch on so we will do now is um when you click, when you get a reviewer, I'm not going to click through because my reviewers are private. But when you get a, a request to have your book reviewed, you can actually check the person's profile. And you can go in and you can see how many reviews they've actually done on the site. You can go in and you can check other sites like Amazon and see what kind of books they review. So you can see whether they actually like your book or maybe they've clicked on it thinking it's something else. So that's good. And Story Origin will also send a reminder out to people who've requested books to review from you in two weeks. So you don't have to remind them. Story Origin does it for you. So anyway, that's um, basically the uh, the video um, about what is Story Origin. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got some interesting information from it. And that's all for now. So bye-bye.